Hi, uh, I've just been out, I've just got back and I thought, hello, may as well say hi to everybody and, and do a bit of a live. If anyone's out there, it'd be lovely to see you. I've just got to get you up here so that I can find you. That's a bit rubbish because I'm hopeless at that. Um, yeah, good to see you all, as and when you make it. Uh, I've, I'm not together today, can you tell? Hello, <laughs> Heather Seven. Well. Just one of me. I can claim myself soon. Nice to see you too. Hope it's all going well up there. Um, yeah, just dropped in really to have a bit of a live and say hello to people. Um, I don't know who's, who is going to be coming along to um, the Hitchin reseller meetup. I'm hoping to be there and I will be bringing the lovely Karen Sells clothes. Ah, and there she is, Karen Sells clothes. Hello. <laughs> You'll be coming with me, won't you? We'll need to talk about that. Mm whether it's going to be the Premier Inn or the Travelodge, whichever's cheapest, whichever's cheapest, I guess. Me, 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 me. <laughs> oh dear, I just thought I might as well go live, really. I'm about to have a house full of kids at three o'clock. Uh, my son's having a sleepover with um, three chums, one, two, three, yeah, about three friends. And uh, so I thought I'll get one done now, because that's going to be the rest of my day completely shot. So, yes, I've been really naughty and not put out a... a a notification that I'm going live. I just thought it's lunchtime, people might be having a break from listing, as am I. Um, so I went and bought some more tap, which makes my pile to list even bigger. Oh. oh, of course, yes, you did say, Sue. I saw your video where you were saying that you'd have to divorce your hubby in order to be able to come along. So, uh, yes, don't do that. No, um, hopefully, we will all get to see you. Yes. I'm not calling it a death pile yet, it's very much alive. I've got some lovely stuff, but I've just realised quite how much I've got. Um, I haven't been to a jumble sale in forever, but actually one of, there's a local jumble trail going to happen in a couple of weeks time. Hello Peter, hi yeah. Um, we've never had jumble trails in this neck of the woods. I'm looking forward to it because it's in quite a good area where they've all got lots and lots of stuff, lots of kids and lots of things to get rid of. So um, that's happening, I think, on the 2nd of September. <laughs> Hello, flipping fantastic finds. Oh, yeah, yes, sat down with a cuppa. Got my regular mug here. Up to 38, not made a dent. Well, yes, this is what I was looking at. I've actually got a huge pile of things that I've listed and flung over to one side. So I want to list some more and then have a big drive at bagging them up and putting them away because that's how I do it. Um, because it's looking horribly messy and I can't quite cope. <laughs> mm. Well, um, yeah, I was sort of looking at this whole thing here and thinking, why did I go and buy more stuff? <laughs> Lex! Hello! <laughs> Hello, greetings! Looks like we may meet in Hitchin. That'll be hilarious. You haven't missed much at all. I've literally gone live a a couple of minutes ago because my day is about to be hijacked by four very lively children so I thought you know what a moment of calm in what is turning out to be quite a small humid little office it's why the door shut to prevent cats and small boys from from bumping in and saying hello so I will crack on I don't want to keep you guys I know we're all terribly busy <laughs> we're all supposed to be terribly busy ah right this was a colorful little find Hannibal, oh, oh, yes, mm. <laughs> nice for lunchtime. Does that make you feel like having something on toast? <laughs> There's a lovely one here. I don't buy men wearing costumes. I tend to pick up things like um, some of the very good brands if I ever see them. This is actually Jojo Maman Bebe, which when I was pregnant with my son was a particularly expensive brand. This is Nubit Tags though, woot. Um, it's a small size, and I think, well, how small is someone going to be if they're pregnant? <laughs> but there you go. It's very pretty and dotty, and it's supposed to sell for £26. I paid £3.54 in my local charity shop. I didn't find much in this particular shop the other day. Oh, well. Cute. It's very cute. Um, so, yes, I'm hoping I should be able to get 20 on that, I would imagine. I'm just going to lob things over there. And the only other thing I found yesterday, and I felt so bereft, because I normally find loads in that pound row, must have missed time it, a pair of very ordinary looking beige gabardine trousers. Excited, yes. 
excited. I think we're all very excited. Although Karen keeps warning me that she's going to be drinking a lot, so I may have to may have to remain in responsible adult mode. No chance. We'll be fine. Um, yeah, these are actually. This brand was very big back in the day. I would say nineties and early noughties. Joseph, Joseph, not Joseph Woodcock. We all know how good they are for their blingy stuff. But Joseph was very famous for good trousers. They're still famous for good trousers um, that are supposed to fit kind of like anybody and everybody. <laughs> Yay. Um, they're very well made. These are actually a cropped pair and I've discovered they're called Queen. So there we are. Carla is being, oh my God, Carla's being the responsible adult. Well, that's it then, isn't it? The whole weekend's going to go right off. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. So I paid three, oh, two pound fifty. Two pound fifty. They've got two tags on them. Heaven only knows what I was charged. Um, but I think there's got to be a good twenty-five pounds in those because they are horribly expensive new, and these have been very little worn. They're quite a small size. She says they've still got half a tag in them, but that's probably just because someone's too lazy to take it out. <laughs> yes, we must remember to eat. I feel I feel a meal before meeting at a pub would be a very very sound idea, Karen. Um, just because it tends to lessen hangover potentialities the next day. And much as I love a good drink, I'm not a fan of a hangover. So, those were two sort of random bits that I actually got yesterday. And that was it yesterday. So I was being quite restrained and saying, maybe I've been watching quite a lot of other things and I'm just trying to get this thing of, I'm not going to pick something up unless I know it's going to make me pretty good money. But it's not going to happen, is it? You're going to be responsible and not drink on the train. Oh, I was rather looking forward to a, to a G&T on the way up. You know, a bit of a snifter to get us in the mood. Depends what time we're going, though. Um, I'm probably going to end up meeting you somewhere like London Bridge, I'm guessing, and going over to one of the other London stations on the deep joy that is the tube. Ah, hope you do get to come along, Peter. It would be lovely to meet you. And, uh, Leah... Leah. Now who's the bad influence? Well, me. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I, I behave myself disgracefully sometimes and I really don't care. <laughs> My hall is very, very small, you know. You'll get in at St Pancras. Ah, right. Up as you, is that where we're, the train out to Hitchin will be from? I've yet to do my research. I, I did sort of look it up. Um, excuse the rustling. Um... I did sort of look at it and think, oh, that's not actually that bad a journey. Might get a chance to go down the charity shops when we get there. <laughs> oh, so. That's the thing is, I think I think Nick's got this idea that hardly anyone's going to go, and I think he's going to be surprised that actually quite a few of us are going. <laughs> Hicks speed, oh, high speed. This King Cross best meet. Yes, actually, that could be the uh, the best thing to meet at King's Cross but we will we will message near the time and make sure that we are in touch um yeah because it's all a bit of fun getting across London I tend to go into Charing Cross London Bridge and all that sort of thing and then have to get on a tube but it's only one tube and it's the northern line I thought this was pretty I thought this is very very pretty I've sort of stopped well no I haven't stopped picking up skirts but I the Peruna skirts are kind of slightly oversubscribed, aren't they? And this was a 10 long. But it's so hippie. Oops. I think where the spin should be warned, it's got layers. It's so fairy. I mean, we're getting a bit out of festival mode now. So this might not even go. <laughs> yeah, I think where the spins are quite well kitted out as far as booze goes. Depends what you want, though. I'm not sure about their food, but some people love it. Um, I'm not so enamoured, but it doesn't matter because it's fuel, isn't it? It's it's filled that space. It is super cute. I have never seen one of these. It was my if it was my size, I I I might I might have risked it. But um, there's no way I'm getting into a size ten. Tiny, but it's beautiful, and I'm really hoping that that will go for reasonable money. I mean, I didn't pay a lot for it. I paid three pounds. It's still on trend. Colours, colours are strange things. I think people know what colours suit them. These sort of colours do suit me, although I have a tendency to black, it's true. Um, but reds do suit me, and I think a lot of people like reds for autumn. Um, and it's quite thick and quite well made. 
So who knows? Someone will buy it, won't they? Somebody will. Technology. Oh, did, it, did I miss something on technology? Let me see what my... If I actually get the... Oh, grilled halloumi. I'm having grilled halloumi. Well, I'm having halloumi tonight. So <laughs> chicken wings and grilled halloumi. That actually sounds like quite a, quite an energy-filled combination, doesn't it? Ah, oh, but you, you don't do a lot of the bread and the carbs. You're sort of... Yeah, I, I'm not big on carbs myself, to be fair. Um, although I, I can eat them and I do. So I was just wondering if I could catch the chat here, but I'm not entirely sure that I can. No, probably not. Never mind. <laughs> you don't do tech? Yes, well, tech. I, I have fails, many, many fails when it comes to tech as well. Um, if something doesn't do what it's supposed to, I can get, get quite, quite salty about it. Um, I'm probably going to have to replace... Yes, I'm probably going to have to replace my laptop and that. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. Yes, get your tap photos. You can you can listen. I'll show Cameron. I'll show you this L.K. Bennett dress. There you go. I know, I know you like a bit of quality. L.K. Bennett, we all know and love. This is a huge size actually. It's a nice big size. Not huge. It's an 18. It's, but it's so nice. There's a tiny, tiny makeup thing where someone's obviously taking it off over the head and kind of. But I've got makeup remover wipes, so I'm hoping it came with its belt as well, which I was, oh my god it did, I haven't lost it, it came with its belt. <clears throat> so um, that's all good really, I mean it may be a little out of season with the colour, but it's one of those things someone's bought for an occasion, worn once, and, um, and then they've donated it very late, you're having a lazy day. Yeah, I can't with the kids around. But what I've promised to do is I'll set them all up downstairs. They'll have their snacks, they'll have the computer. Then I'm going to retreat back up here and actually crack on with some more listing and some more tidying. So I don't want to be in their way. I don't want to hear their conversations. You know, 11-year-olds yattering amongst themselves. I won't understand the half of it anyway. Oh, you're feeling off a bit. Oh, dear. No, well, you have to look after yourself because in this business you don't get paid if you're not working. And you don't want to be ill, ill. Nobody, you have to listen to yourself. <laughs> this coming from me, I pay zero attention to my needs usually, but I'm trying to learn. Now these tickled me. Oh, yes, do have a look. Make sure that they're, if they're a bigger size, that can help. Check them over for floors. But I mean, at a ten of each, if there's something that really looks quite new and quite modern and a style that you think, yeah, you know. It's probably well worth it. You might have them for a little bit. They're not quick flips. I've got um, some of the stuff that's still around, but they will go. I thought this was cute. This says, oh, you're all backwards, aren't you? Or is it me that's backwards? Going, going, gonks. These are from the 60s. Simplicity pattern. Three and six, whatever that is. Three and six. I did pay a pound for this. I've got, I've got another one of these, actually, with more gonks. Aren't they brilliant? I love them. I oh, they're gonks galore, that one is. Gonks galore and going, going gonks. And one of them I did see a year, which looked like the very early 60s. I did see a year on one of them. Um, that some of them have obviously been used by some lovely little old lady, but I thought I might put them together. I have. I did do a quick bit of research because I don't tend to buy patterns. Um, but they'll go for a good few quid. I mean, they're just so cool. Wilbur Gonk, Friar Gonk, Jungle Gonk, Swinging Gonk. There we go. <laughs> I should have that as my logo. Swinging Gonk. No, no, no. Lex, let's not go there. Then we've got Gone Gonk. I don't know, Lex. They might have been. Fred Gonk, Eskimo Gonk and... Upside down gonk and they've written it upside down which is why I was squinting. I've got perfectly good, decent eyes. They are just so sweet. Little can you imagine some little old little old knitting nana making making these up? Well, sewing nana, I suppose. Um they might have come from a TV series. There isn't anything on them that says that copyrights them. Stuffed felt trim, trimmed gonks featuring a variety of faces, hair, arms, legs and feet. I know how they feel. So that was one of those quirky little things that I pick up. I do pick up weird and wonderful things sometimes just because I'm curious and I want to learn. You know, most of what I sell is clothes, but not everything. I do have other things that I just kind of go, ooh, that's nice. 
and I've got quite a pile of ceramics. Things I've picked up were, I know there's something about them, I know there's something, but I haven't, my researches have not turned up a sort of full list and I kind of need to go and kind of go, hello, <laughs> to someone who knows about these things um, and ask pertinent questions. I, I mean, I've got this sort of weird thing. I picked this up for 50p. Now, at first look, you think, well, what the bloody hell's that? It's kind of, it's very Art Deco. It's got a rabbit, a dog, I think, like a Highland Terrier, and a cat. And it's this sort of iridescent -y thing. I, who knows what the hole is for? I don't ask. And then it's a sort of flat back thing like this, a little ornament. And then on the back, I saw this little stamp that I thought looked interesting. And... could be a sort of a signatory thing there. So it intrigued me, so I picked it up, meaning to research it, and it's still sitting here because I can't find anything like it. So I need to approach somebody like Walter O'Neill, who is, who is like a complete authority, Antiques Arena, brilliant, brilliant channel. Um, he has an antique shop in Wales. I couldn't tell you where, Bex, uh, it's probably nowhere near you, but it's really, really good. And uh, sometimes I just pick things up because I want to know more, sorry. Having hair in the hair in the way down. So I've and I've literally got a, a shelf with lots of little pots and things that I've discovered and found that I want to list, but I want to list them. I might have shown it before. I, I half thought that um, it's uh, that's how long it's been sat on the desk. Yes, guilty as charged. You've met Walter. Oh, they are such fun. There's Sandra, his friend Sandra. And that lovely shop. If I was ever in Wales, I'd want I'd want to pop in and say hello because he's kind of inspired me to try and branch out a little bit into stuff. But my I'm so much an amateur, it's embarrassing. But hey, you know, it's how you learn, isn't it? And he does seem like such a lovely chap. Talking of chaps, <laughs> have you ever seen? Yes, they're not very near. They are big shoes. <laughs> bigger than my head. Much bigger than my head. These are a size 14. I've never known anyone be a size 14. <laughs> Are you having a strange moment then? I have those all the time. Ah, yes, they cost me three pounds. The reason I paid for them is this isn't a brand I go for normally. Ooh, get me a butty too, will you, Sue? Bacon one. Um, they're Samuel Windsor, which is a fairly good brand um, but these look like they have basically been worn once those girls are very far away <laughs> yes father ted yeah one of my favorite episodes but they have you know they are brilliant there's hardly any wear on them and in this size when you get a really big size they're quite hard to come by so these seem to go for reasonable money i mean if i got 30 quid for them i'd be happy i mean they cost me three um, you know, there's a little bit of a, a scuff on the bottom because they're leather sold. They are well made, but a 14. Ugh. Holy moly. But they were, part of the reason I picked them up too is that they're, is that they're you know, they're a nice style of shoe. I ha are they Derby or an Oxford? It's one of those. I will look them up. I, I have tried to learn my shoe types and styles because it really helps when selling men's stuff. And they're in a kind of a very deep chestnut brown. So they are phenomenal. Man, you're going to be a big fellow to have size 14 feet. A tall fellow. Tall fellow. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, I like picking up shoes and things. I really, really do. Uh, bear with me. Just... You know how you come back from a hall and think, oh, I'm sure I bought more than that. And you realise, no, actually, it's not very much at all. I paid a whole pound fifty for these. They need cleaning. Ah, <gasps> size eleven. Wow. My one of my very best friends has a daughter who is fourteen, who has size ten feet because she's taller than me. So she's a. <laughs> uh, I haven't done any boot sales actually. I've been terrible. I just haven't had the energy. <laughs> um, she. Uh, yeah, this girl's got size ten feet, and she's only fourteen. She's about five foot eleven now and i'm hoping she's going to stop bless her because i mean her father was very very tall 
Um, but she's having real trouble. It's like up to nines is fine, but you get above that. And what I advised her was to look on eBay to go to the Northern European sites like Denmark and Norway and Holland and Germany because, again, they tend to have slightly bigger people and their stuff is bigger, so there's more chance you'll find things um, because you don't really want to want to wear tranny shoes when you're not because that was the alternative. These are a bit grubby, actually. I'm just looking at the glass on the bottom. They're not great. And I thought, oh, they're a bit odd, and then I saw the magic word, sketches. Apparently these are yoga... Mat, yoga foam and look at the platform on those and they're quite a big size as well I can't actually find the size I'm going to have to sort of calculate it but these go for pretty good money they go for good money they've got to be a size these have got to be a size nine excuse me I'm just going to put my foot in mm, briefly okay they they are way big I've got size six feet excuse me exposing leg <laughs> Andrea, hello. <laughs> or Fandria, as they call it. <laughs> Lexi Poo, <laughs> I say. Um, but they're, yeah, they're quite good money, these. Um, I don't think they're that attractive. And I mean, walking in them is a bit like walking in geisha shoes. But if my foot comes to there, these, are, these actually could be a size nine. Because I'm six. I'll measure them up. But I was surprised to find they go for about 30 quid, even used. So if you see these fuddy looking things, don't pass them up. Um, I need to clean them. They are disgusting. But actually, in terms of wear, there is just a very little wear on the heels. Just a tiny bit of a scuff there. So they, they should come up nicely. Oh. Goodness me, I've wasted 20 minutes of all your valuable time. You know, we're using it as an excuse not to work. Except Callum, who's doing uh, photography and this I picked up because I liked it to be perfectly honest it's a bag with studies yeah not everyone likes the flip flops it's a bag shiny 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 I can't work out if it is if it is leather or not I can't work it out it is only from River Island but some of River Island's bags actually go well and it's quite surprisingly heavy. I've got this sort of chain thing going on. Oh, oh, Andrea. Mm. Well, that's the problem with doggies, isn't it? <laughs> this does look in good nick, though. It might well be that it's leather. I'll see if I can find out what style it is. I might find that an oh, no. Won't be able to work on my shoulder. Only in winter, because if that goes against my skin, I'm going to have a very bad allergic reaction. And if this had been silver instead of gold, I'd have been on it. But I thought, I know someone else will like that, particularly with the shiny shinies. Five. Blimey, you must be swimming in the stuff. If you've not got one of those sort of pressure hoses, you can just <laughs> send it off into the wilderness. Oh. So that was my wee haul. <laughs> Five dogs. Are they big ones or little ones? I mean, clearly, clearly scooping the poop is something that is very much on the menu. But I always think the bigger the dog... Mm. You know, you're going to need a shovel like for a small cart horse after a while, aren't you? Terriers, oh how sweet, how sweet. Well I bet they're really cute. My neighbour's got a small, um, well I say it's small, it's quite leggy, but it, it's a cross between a Border Terrier and a Jack Russell. So it's got the yappy voice. And um, I'm just doing that because a message is coming, there we go. An invite to a restaurant, never to be turned down. Um, yeah, so, and this little thing is, it's got the yappiness of the, the terriers are a bit yappy when they're little, but it's so cute. It's got those little ears that kind of fold over and one of those jaunty little walks. I just, he's just like, he's very, very cute indeed. Extremely, extremely cute. So, um, yeah, I've been watching, um, I was watch. I missed Nick live last night. I don't know what I was doing. God knows, cooking dinner is always cooking dinner whenever these things come on. That's why I'm never there. I'm not antisocial. I'm just feeding people because uh, we tend to have dinners quite late. And uh, it's, it sounds like they went to that rewind and had an absolute whale of a time. But it's just they're sitting there with their glasses of wine, all very relaxed. <laughs> uh, and they're all getting excited about hitching too. I think they're going to be surprised when we all rock up. Oh, hi Sue, you're back. <laughs> Good. I hope your butty's nice. If it was bacon, I'd want it. I like bacon butties. 
one of my favourite things. One of my favourite things. I've got to feed all these kids pizza tonight, but I'm not making it from scratch. I haven't got time. I need to crack on and list. Um, so they'll get something from the freezer. <laughs> they'll all think I'm absolutely terrible, but so what? It's kids. There will be loads of us, I'm pretty sure. I know Peter's thinking of coming. <laughs> the Spoon's Kitchen, yeah, more than three orders. It throws them into complete and utter chaos, doesn't it? Um, I've had things like the ham, egg and chips that I feel that it's difficult to get that wrong. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy to take recommendations from other people. It's, maybe it's the one we've got here in Tunbridge that's... Uh, what you tend to find is if you pop in the middle of the day, there are the, there's an awful lot of old people having coffee and lunch. And then there's a lot of the more, shall we say, conditioned and habitual drinkers who are happily knocking back pints out in the garden smoking section. So, although it's quite a handy place if you've got kids, you can at least take them and go out the back. It's um, And it's vast. It's like some cavern. Um, and it's, yeah, but the beers are good because I like, um, I do like proper beer, you know, like ale. You know, lagers all very well on a very hot day. It's quite refreshing, really. But, but beer, as in proper, decent local beer, I always like to give that a try. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't do cocktails, let's put it that way. How many are going to Insta? Yeah, I don't know how many are going up to Chesterfield. Um, it was a little bit too far and timing was wrong for me. Um, Al is great, just like cider. Oh, Al. <laughs> Al, I'm thinking, who's Al? <laughs> he must be a good friend. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, we, we do get some, some people who like to get in first and ensure they're quite inebriated by lunchtime. It's not too many, but obviously they haven't got anything much better to be doing with themselves. And I was thinking, well, that's very nice, but it's not good to spectate. Tunbridge Wells Weatherspoons. Oh, Rust Hall. Yeah, yeah, Tunbridge Wells has got one. I, You know, I'm only, what, four miles away from Tunbridge Wells, and I hardly ever go, because the charity shops are ridiculously expensive. Parking's a nightmare, and driving there is interesting, to say the least. So, actually, I tend to go out to places like Southborough or Paddock Wood or even Orpington or I go into Purley because I used to live up that way so I've got friends I go and see and I do the charity shops there. So I can sort of work and play combined. Tumbridge Wells Spoons is great. Everyone likes spoons. It's certainly cheap. I'll say that much for it. My husband really doesn't like it. He prefers to go in the fuggles that we've got. Um, it's one of the, it's, he hasn't got the beard though. You know, you have to have one of those beards. To be to be in fuggles, you have to look like I have a curated beard, and and that sort of undercut hair. That it can look very good. I don't know about Seven Oaks either. I grew up in Seven Oaks, and I kind of avoid it. Yeah, I kind of avoid it these days. Uh, again, you've got parking issues, and it's a hell of a slog up from the station if you're going by train up the hill. <laughs> um, <laughs> this beard trend. Yeah, my husband could grow an amazing beard, but he but he chooses not to, and I personally feel that's probably just as well, really. You know, you can, I think they kind of get to an age when when um, the you know the less hair on top, the more at the bottom, and that's a bit it's a bit of a shame, really, isn't it? Oh yes, I yes, I, I don't know about a vlog. I certainly put something out there. I'm sure. I, yeah, I hope Leah is all right. Um, it's difficult to know. People go quite for different reasons, you know, sort of family or they're on holiday or the pressure of work possibly for, for Leah. Um, but yes, I hope she knows that we are all thinking of her because we're not a huge community, us resellers. We, the, there's more and more of us, that's for sure. Oh, it's not too long. Yes. How long is too long? I mean, when you're getting towards the full ZZ top. God, that gives my age away, doesn't it? Then, then I think, we, and, and sometimes they get very bushy and kind of out there. But the sort of the sort of neater versions, I I think people spend more time looking after their beards than they do, you know, getting dressed in the morning. Or that's the impression I get from those who seem to sport them. You know, there's not a hair out of place. <laughs> we're not talking words or gummage here. We're talking something very of the Uncle Albert. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, we do worry about each other. It's funny, you know, even though you don't see people, you just think, oh, I haven't heard from so-and-so for a while. I hope they're all right. Gandalf is a little too long. Yes, I think he was practically to the floor, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. Gandalf in his place and setting. And people we've never actually met. The funny thing is, when you see someone online, you do think you know them. 
and maybe it, that was part of the reason I kind of thought if I see someone like um, Mrs M Caroline uh, put something out about she was busy at a boot fair so I'm herring up to her and sort of Caroline Caroline wow well. and, and she's gone like whoa 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 that's strange I don't know you um, just because people get to recognise you um, yeah <laughs> I guess it, I guess that is strange, really. But at least you know they like to be friendly. No, one day, one day, Sue, we will, <laughs> we'll manage to get north and south together, and um, and actually probably have a have a really big shindig somewhere, a really big meet up. <laughs> the price of fame, infamy, I think it is rather than rather than fame, but uh, yeah. Um, I, my son has, has already briefed me, he said, oh, for goodness sake, whatever you do, Mum, don't tell anyone at my school you have a YouTube channel. I'm, like, I'm not likely to. A, I don't want a bunch of kids watching because it's not going to mean anything to them. And, and B, I know that would be embarrassing for you, so I'm going to hold that one in reserve until you start behaving really badly. Then I might use it. <laughs> mm, yeah. That was amazing, that thing about your um, nasty greens in the middle. Yeah, I was going to say, like she was saying about that bloke who donated 10 grand's worth of clothes to your local shop. I'd have been in there, I'd be like, for God's sake, price them up, let's see what they are. But he does sound like a bit of an idiot. Um, <laughs> abroad, well, we could have a proper convention. Mm, a gathering of resellers. I wonder what that term would be. A gaggle? Um... <laughs> And you're in, the, you're in the middle. Ah, but the middle depends on where you are as to what the middle is, you see. Mm. You know, London London seems central to, to a lot of us from down this way, but it certainly isn't for anyone coming from Newcastle or Scotland or somewhere. Yeah, maybe we will actually get to organise ourselves when we know, you know, that people really want it and we can org organise something. <laughs> Working suit. Really? <laughs> I, I didn't see the thing that preceded that, so... Kind of embarrassing what I've read there. The Heart Foundation. Oh my God! It's enough to give anyone a heart attack looking at their prices, isn't it? it? Certainly is in my Heart Foundation place. I used to pop in there occasionally because they'd have things like big bits of luggage that they couldn't wait to get rid of, so they'd price those really low. But anything clothes shaped that looked like it had a label of any description was immediately seized upon and hideously overpriced. And I, I know, you know, obviously it's the same lady who runs it, so all the while she's there, that's not going to change. And we had a nice new Demelza shop open up in Tunbridge and I made friends with the people there. In fact, I must go and see them again this week, but they are quite overpriced and they've committed the garden of seeing them lining things up by colour. <laughs> Hopefully when they've bedded in a bit and realised that that isn't the best way to sell, sell stuff and that you need a pound rail, then maybe we'll be onto a bit more of a winner. I picked up a couple of bits. Um, I'm still selling those... Um, <laughs> Yeah, Vegas. <laughs> don't think we've got an equivalent to Vegas in the UK there, really, have we? <laughs> um, Vegas sounds like fun. Oh, Chesterfield, Chesterfield. I've heard of that, but I couldn't tell you where it is. I'm a bit ignorant <laughs> about where some places are. Oh, but it'd be lovely. It'd be lovely to have a meet-up somewhere there, wouldn't it? It'd be fab. Mm. Ah. Funnily enough, I did see three jewellery bags in my in my little store, my little honeypot store I went to today. Blackpool. Oh my lord, I was last there when I was about twenty-two. Uh, it's quite a place. Um, yes, not terribly local to me, but definitely, definitely somewhere that can probably accommodate a large number of people. Um, Skeg Vegas. Oh, Skegness. I've never been to Skegness. Whitby, we could go to Whitby because I, I like that anyway. Home of steampunk, they might be with lots of secondhand steampunk clothes and things. <laughs> oh Lord, who knows? I'm waffling now, aren't I? I'm waffling on. Well, I'm, you know, I'm really looking forward to meeting some of you um, up in, up in, where is it now? Hitchin, Hitchin Hearts, as someone once said. A friend of mine was born there, and they used to call it, used to call it Itching Hurts. I'm sure it does. Um, but it'd be quite nice if we can get there at a sensible time and have a little mooch act around the charity shops, although I suspect they'll have been cleaned out by anyone who's got there before us. <laughs> we could just meet in Paris, though, but I'd definitely be up for Paris. In fact, Paris is probably nearer me than Blackpool, in all honesty, <laughs> in terms of miles. There's obviously that bit of a tunnel thing or a ferry you've got to do. 
but I would love to meet up in Paris or Amsterdam. Isn't that where you're off to, Bex? You're going to Amsterdam? Yeah, Amsterdam. Yes, yeah, I haven't been there since since my son was born. Oh, go and, yeah, recharge that battery. I'm going to pop off anyway because I'm, I'm going to bore myself as well as you. And I really, really should be making some works, getting on with that stuff and getting things listed. Because there's a big pile and it's not in here, it's in the room next door, which is a lot messier than this one. Which is why you only get to see the, the presentable side of TP Towers and not, not the dungeons next door <laughs> with piles of clothing spilling over themselves. So thank you for coming along. It's lovely to see you all. And uh, yeah, I'll try and do these occasionally, but who knows? I'm a bit random that way. Tatty bye. <laughs> bye, Legs. Bye.